as Russia is a very, very, very important country for us, I know you, you know that, um, the group Read Exhibition, and we are part of Read Exhibition, Read Me Dem is part of Read Exhibition, had acquired uh, a few months ago now Rex, and Rex is going to be a, a MAPIC Russia. Today it's Rex powered by MAPIC, but it's going to become MAPIC Russia, and I'm so pleased about that because I've been a six or a seven times at Rex, and I found at that time uh, uh, a lot of interest because I did my shopping to bring you here in Cannes at Rex. And uh, the, the company, uh, so um, Eric's Russia has bought Rex. We are extremely pleased because we're going to work hand in hand with our sister company, Rex Russia, to bring to Rex content. Uh, conference, marketing, but more than that, we're going to bring international players. Now, uh, more than ever, probably, the Russian market needs uh, uh, strong international brands with the aggressive expansion company, uh, campaign and uh, more foreign investment, uh, probably more than ever before. I would like you to ask, why are you here? Why are you here? On the, Russian, on, on, the Russian, on the Russian session. Uh, I think uh, because you want to know uh, what happens in Russia now, uh, firstly, it, uh, uh, it's for international uh, commerce, what happens in the Russian market? Why we are here? Me, uh, Denis Boning from Undis, uh, Anders Lilienstolpe from SRV, Brandon O'Reilly from Fashion House, Alina Strelko from EC. We're trying to ask, to answer you. Uh, what opportunities uh, Russia, um, uh, you, you can find in Russia now? Uh, what's uh, Russian market uh, uh, represent to you? And for those of you who are thinking of coming to Russia, who are looking at Russia, uh, what I would say is that myself and my team have developed outlet centers in Serbia, in Bulgaria, in Czech Republic, in Hungary, uh, in Poland, of course, and Romania. And uh, in all of these countries, there are some challenges, but Russia is no different. Um, I know from my Western European uh, uh, friends and colleagues that there's a perception of Russia is that the challenges are significantly greater. They're not, absolutely not. So the experience for our group, um, our uh, Belgian investors has been extremely good. We opened the second phase of Fashion House Moscow uh, last week. So another uh, 6,000 uh, square meters. We brought new brands, and that's an important point. Uh, Dimitri said, uh, you know, Russia is the largest country in Europe. And I looked at some of the other countries that are there, UK, France, Germany. Um, at the moment, uh, if you take what I would call properly developed outlet centers in Russia, there are five, five. My country, UK, has 60 million people. There are 41 properly developed and very successful outlet centers. So for my sector and our industry, um, with around 150 million people in Russia and five outlet centers, uh, there's a huge uh, opportunity in the next years for growth, for bringing new tenants and, and for business development. We live in the really challenging times. We live fast, yeah, we work a lot. So we live in the world of digitalization, so we have to react on this somehow, yeah. But still in Russia, approximately 56% are spent for shopping. This is enormous figure. You know, on one hand, of course, uh, I mean, due to these challenging times we live with, we don't have enough money for the bigger purchase like uh, flats here or even cars. So that's why we spend for shopping. We a little bit travel less, so we spend money which we have for shopping, for dining. And of course, we have to react on this uh, 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 as the uh, developers, as the uh, shopping center management companies. My advice would be, if you are working on mid-term, long-term view, Russia is definitely a good way. If you are working on very short and if you are just checking the financial data, just stay home. We go international since once two years and we decided to go Russia quite first as a, as a country and as a market. Not only for Andes, but really a time growth is focusing. This is one of our strategic market for the coming years. And uh, we do have a 
we do have a beautiful and an amazing digital team and innovations team in our in our in our company, which is a which is already updated in terms of retail. You know, when a re, when a 100 uh, uh, years retailers is launching a brand uh, 10 years ago, we are already fast fashions, a uh, new collection in every two weeks in your stores. Uh, obviously, it's updated, so we do have uh, the luck actually to uh, to think just for the future. So I, I'm, th I'm spending my time, I'm spending my energy not to think about how to reach the older retailers and so on, just to spend what will be the futures, what will be there. And this is a common purpose in our company. And when we talk about Russia today, of course, on many, my, on many people's minds, there's a big risk. So I will actually focus a little bit on this when I do my little presentation here. So is there risk in Russia? Yes, there is risk in Russia today. Is it worth investing in Russia? Yes, it's worth investing in Russia. Do I have to say this? Well, yes and no, because I'm already invested. But the point is that those of you who are not already in Russia, you are the winners right now. Because these risks have many of them played out and some are still there. But they make that the market is extremely profitable and possible for those who are entering the market. If you're retailers or if you're developers or investors, this is really the time to enter. And I think that Dimitri really showed us with a new entry of new brands. But there's a lot of prejudice and a lot of, of fear about Russia. So just to continue to, to increase that fear a little bit, I will talk about those risks a little bit. <laughs> Don't be too scared, though, of course. So let's talk about it. Uh, I will take the political in the end, because you know we're not allowed to talk about political, of course, but I will just mention it. Anyway, you know that the currency have been uh, losing a lot of value. And that, of course, have really affected us who are in the market. But I would say that this is also a correction of the ruble that I, under many years have, have been under heavy uh, inflation and also extremely the, the, the needed to the, the pricing of the, the Brent oil. But we now may be seeing a stabilization and also a correction of the pricing. And during the next few years, we, we do see a strengthening of the target audience purchase power. So I believe that we are in a quite stable situation, even though that, of course, there are still risks in this situation. So the volatility we have seen, I think there will be less and less, and that's, of course, is very, very important for us. Uh, other things that are very important, of course, is when it comes to politics. Uh, we do have Trump as an opportunity. We have Ukraine, Turkey, Syria as risks, but also opportunities, actually, because we have been in a really bad situation. The market lost two years. But we see a stabilization and a lot of opportunities for new entries. So that's really important for us, I believe. 